So we're about to develop the radiographic plates here and this is one from Suhas and we have uh, the final fuel first batch, final two times one ash, one times four ash, one times four ash near electrode pointed, one times two ash near center, one times one fuel second batch, final fuel second batch, and the one times one ash course near electrode. If you remember from the magnetic test, the final fuel second batch was the one that did the apparent magnetic effects. Once we take it off here, we'll try and put it into a new metal box and see if it does the same thing. And over here, we have the second set of plates, and we have the one times one ash fine near center, one times one fuel first batch, final two times four ash near center, final two times one ash near electrode rounded, and final one point, uh, two point times four near the pointed ash, uh, near the pointed electrode ash. And so what you actually have in here is under this plastic you have the photographic emulsion and then there's a sheet of aluminium in the middle and then you have another, so you can see there's two plates in here and there's another uh, plate at the bottom. Last we have two plates from the final uh, Aura testing, Mi356 reactor, and uh, we'll be running the first top side of that because we can do five photographic emulsion plates in one developer bucket. So I'm here with Roman Franz. Hello, Roman. Hello. And he's a very famous Czech photographer. He does exhibitions all the way around the world, and he's agreed to help us develop these photographic emulsions, which we've got over here. And <clears throat> I've taken the uh, samples off, but this is uh, the final uh, from the uh, Mi356 Aura reactor, the final day testing, and we're going to do the top side of that. And then we have two more here, which uh, you've just seen, um, which are the various samples that were provided by Suhas. So we're going to look to see if there's any incidents of mushigans or tachyons or charge cluster tracks on here or any other sort of... <clears throat> Uh, things that might be going on, uh, or nothing, as that may be. And since Lena tends to remove radiation, um, I don't expect to see anything, but uh, let's see if we do. So what, how do we do this? Yeah, it's quite simple. Uh, we just uh, open the cassettes with negatives, and we will put them in a, like, let's say, developing tank, and we will cover it with the lid, and then we will add uh, like developer, then just water to, to stop developing and finally fixer who will fix the, uh, the negatives mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then maybe magic will come. <clears throat> so uh, you're going to effectively roll these, th when you take the negatives out of here, you're going to roll them into here, are you? Yeah, like this. Okay. Uh, I can show... These are the smaller oh. slides, so this, something like this, it's in here. Yeah, yeah. But bigger size, and I will take it and put it just like this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's not, you're not cracking it, not no, bending no, it, no, yeah, no. just quick, rolling quick, it. Quick, just very softly. Yeah, and so after it's been in here, how long does it need to stay in here for? Yeah, it'll develop for uh, 13 minutes, 13 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. minutes, then just fill it with water to stop it like two times mm -hmm. uh, and then just f fix it for five minutes probably. And the, this is ASA 400 so you have to vary the time do you for different... Oh it's a 400? <coughs> mm -hmm. oh, okay so I have to I have to check the time again. Okay. Because <laughs> I was thinking that's 100. Oh okay yeah. <laughs> all right so that's just as well we asked yeah. that question. Um, and then when you're fixing it where do you do that? Do you do that? Yeah I'm doing it here. Mm -hmm. And you put a different chemical in here do you? Yeah yeah I will just put it here and I will set a uh, developer and put it in mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. yeah. and then you rinse it off do you? Yeah, the... yeah, I'll use the sinks. So just, just not ordinary water at this stage? Yeah. Okay, is yeah. this deionized water or is it just water? No, it's just water. Okay. Just, uh, yeah. And then how long does this part of the process take? Mm, as I said, uh, 
developing about 10 or 15 minutes, it depends. Mm -hmm. uh, I have to check it again. Then just fixing for five minutes. Mm -hmm. And then final. You hang it out to dry, right? Yeah. Okay. We'll see it in a minute. Cool. Okay. Let's see. Looking here at the developing time for the Fermo Pan 400. Mm -hmm. And. Okay, so at 20 degrees C, it's going to, uh, this is a sheet, is it? Yeah. So 22 to 23 minutes. Okay. So you're going to use how much developer? 1.6 1. Yeah. litres, did you say? I have a stock, uh, stock here. Mm -hmm. And I have to put 400 millimetres. Mm -hmm. And at uh, 1 litre and 200 millimetres of water. Okay. Uh, and... Totally, it's one liter and six hundred millimeters. Okay. And so I will use it for developing. So, sorry, did you say two hundred plus one point two? No, 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 no. I said uh, four hundred. Four hundred. Okay. So yeah. Four hundred of this. Yeah. And at uh, uh, one thousand two hundred. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So one point six liters in total. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It just gets to like nitrogen or something. Yeah, to to avoid the yeah antioxidizing agent. Yeah. yeah, I I guess that's probably nitrogen gas or something. Is it cold? Mm hmm. Then I need 20 degrees Celsius water, mm -hmm. which is quite uh, difficult in a hot summer. <laughs> yeah, right. You need to drain the building a bit, don't yeah. you? <laughs> I suspect we're going to be doing something similar to this next week uh, in India. Yeah, we have 22, so just just a while and let the pipes cool down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah 21. Yeah. <laughs> you probably almost know it by finger now, don't you? You just put, oh, that's yeah. about right. <laughs> So what happens if it's too high a temperature? The developing time is faster, or you can't predict yeah, it? Yeah, it, yeah, it influences the time of developing, mm -hmm. and also contrast. And oh. It, it, there are too many factors. So, so 20 degree is like a standard or optimum temperature yeah, yeah. for a nice and soft developing. Yeah. And it's like a standard. And uh, if, if I will uh, like keep it Forever, my my negatives will be. Uh, oh, they're keeping a long time on the life yeah. of the negatives. I mean, um, I mean the all developing will be standard, like in a mm -hmm. standard. Mm -hmm. So I will know uh, mm -hmm. how it will turn. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So in the winter, do you have to boil a kettle and mix them? Uh, I have a boiler. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I said one six hundred. Okay. Lovely. So there you go. 
It's in the safe zone, the yeah. little red zone. So I guess this is specifically designed thermometer for doing this job, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I noticed there's actually 20 degrees uh, <laughs> on the front of this container here as well. Uh, so what we have at the top here is a kind of like one-way valve so you can pour the liquid mm -hmm. in uh, without uh, light getting in, I guess. So, when it's ready. Yeah, okay, so now we have... Uh there is a, a, I don't know how to say, but uh, so it's like a roller. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. And normally, uh, normally, uh, the negatives uh, when you put a developer in, mm -hmm. you should move it in some way. Like every minute, uh, for every minute, you have to shake it like ten seconds. Ooh. Uh, and this. This helps to keep it in a moving like constantly, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so it's better developing and more even. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Fantastic. I'm using this. Yep. Okay, and I will get the timer. So it says it said 22 and 23. Yeah. Okay. So when do you start the time from? When it's on the roller or when you put the liquid in or what? I'm start, uh, I start counting when everything is inside. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Good, sir. Wow, okay, so you don't even have to do anything. Yeah. Okay, you started the timer. Yeah. And that just sits there rotating around, so we'll come back when it's spent a bit of the time rolling. So this is fixer, right? Yeah, this is fixer. And what is that? What, do you know what the chemical is? I I don't know exactly, but it's uh, it's like a, it smells like vinegar. Oh, uh, okay, like, yeah, it? yeah. It's uh, and and uh, is is do you have a concentrated form of that which you mix with water? Yeah, or? yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. I think it's uh, one point of. Fixer and five points of uh, water. Mm, 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 so mm. I just already did it. Okay. So I just, I just, I just put it here. Mm -hmm. Because once, mm, once you. Even one little drop of fixer touched mm. the developer, it destroyed a developer. Like um, wow! So you you are not able to make mistakes. Wow. Okay. So you have to wash the thermometer yeah, yeah. because okay, yeah. Okay. So you've got to make sure that that's running at twenty degrees. So everything's at twenty degrees. Yeah, but the fixer is like there is more tolerance. Uh, oh, okay. it, it should be the same. But when it's a little bit up or down, mm -hmm. it's not so uh, it's not so sensitive. You, for example, when it's a little low, mm -hmm. you will leave it for a longer time to mm -hmm. to fix it. Mm -hmm. So it seems okay. It's twenty one, so it's almost. So Roman is going to put another four negatives uh, from uh, the stock here into these uh, cartridges for the testing of the echo reactor in India. So we're just coming up to the 22 minute mark here. So we will do it in 22 and a half. Mm -hmm. So 
what you were saying earlier is it seems to travel down this way you have to keep uh -huh. pushing yeah, yeah. it back so you have to get it out pretty quickly right oh you see the color wow that's super green wow that's unexpected oh, of course for me a very long time since i developed any wet film. It never happens to me. Uh, it, it might be too. It might be the reason that these negatives are another, like another brand. Right. So I don't know how the color is. Normally it's without color. <laughs> now you're worrying me. Yeah. <laughs> no, you you are worrying me. <laughs> <laughs> It will stop the process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little less green. Mm -hmm. So you're less fussy about the actual rinsing process here. Mm -hmm. It doesn't need to be a precise temperature. No, it's approximately like the same. The water shouldn't be less or higher than five five degrees. Oh, uh, okay. So it should be fifteen to twenty-five. Yeah, yeah. That's some very carefully thought out chemistry, I guess. Give it a really good wash. Wow, that must be getting heavy now. Oh, I do like that valve. <laughs> we will do it for mm. like 10. Uh, I can stop time now. Mm -hmm. And last, last time, and then I will put a fixer. So does the fixer go in there? Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And the fixer, it's okay to use it, yeah, like many times. Mm -hmm. It has its own capacity. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if if I do good washing here, uh, I can use it more times. Right, yeah. right, okay. So that's the uh, last rinse off there. Yeah, and we should leave it like for four minutes, and if we do five, it'll be time. Mm -hmm. Five minutes in the fixer. You're going to recover that fixer. Yeah. 
machine. There's a special problem because uh, it's not easy to open the light lid after. Oh, right. You, you put a bit of pressure in there, do you? Oh, cunning. So, do we have anything? This is the question. This is a question. <laughs> this is just a completely blank negative. It might be. It might be, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm kind of hoping it is, then Suhas isn't producing a lot of radioactive material. <laughs> The technology should tend to remove radiation rather than make it. Do you have to leave it in there with the water for very long or? Yeah, uh, normally like 10 minutes. Oh, okay. So we've got another 10 minutes to wait. <laughs> yeah. But we can look and we can put it again. That, like, no, no, no. Let's let's set it for ten minutes yeah. first. Yeah, don't want to risk anything. If it's got nothing, it's because it had nothing. Yeah, and now we can leave it for ten minutes. So the moment of truth. Yeah. Good. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that looks like okay. nothing as yeah. well. Good. Good. It's all good. I don't see anything. If it's exposed, it should be darker, right? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Wonderful. There we go. Well, at least as far as... Uh, no, I never see somebody so happy if uh, <laughs> there's totally nothing on negatives. <laughs> And the last one. Yes, lovely. Excellent, thank you. You're welcome. That's a good result. So, essentially we're saying uh, that the Aura Reactor last day, the upside most film, saw nothing and none of the ash uh, at least saw any radiation that was able to pass through a millimeter of plastic. So this is uh, good news.